YouTube, what's going on? Yeah, I'm finally finished this GMC truck. I think this truck is like a 75 to a 78, and I said it because of the uh, headlights and the uh, mirrors design. But let's check it out. Check that out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I digging that. It's a nice color. That color is a, is a, a tester's uh, metallic gray uh, in a rattle can that I had laying around. So, uh, the sunroof, I didn't put the glass in the sunroof because uh, it went in from the outside, not the inside, so it made it look like it was a bubble at the top. I didn't like that at all. Um, these mirrors came in two pieces, uh, and they just glue on there. I did it with super glue because uh, and they, there was a less there was less time I had to hold it. I held it maybe like three seconds and it was stuck on. Uh, they didn't have no uh, pre-cut holes or anything to help keep it in place. So you have to hold it in place. And what I did was I looked at some pictures and I saw this bracket was lined up with the uh, was lined up with the. Uh, window frame with a quarter window frame and then the other uh that made and uh and it was uh, uh these here came down for is this body line right here so that's how i knew is that uh about where to put them at the door handles with the black uh with the button i did with the silver shirt marker and the black i did the button with a black marker i also did that uh uh, that badge right there uh, with a uh, silver marker. Uh, the bed rails, I had to glue them on as well. Uh, I knocked out one on the other side and had to glue it back, and I got a flaw with that, so I'll show that to y'all in a minute. The tires, I was going to white leather the tires, but I, I didn't. I just I let them be. Uh, this side light right here is a orange marker as well. Uh, that brow came with the decal sheet. Uh, they had the chrome uh, review mirror on the inside. I did the windshield wipes with the Sharpie. The engine, I didn't do nothing special to the engine. The engine is all black. It had the chrome valve covers and the uh, the um, fuel injection system at the top. I believe it's fuel injection. Uh, both of the badges are black with the silver top. GMC uh, badge in the front done with the red Sharpie. And the lights are done with the orange marker. And I like those headlights because they had stems on the back. And you just set them in and they help keep them in place. And you just go to the back and glue them and they stay. So that was good. The bracket <laughs> that holds this bumper on, uh, it was numbered wrong. Uh, I believe I believe it was one, it was 162 in the book, but it was 161 on the tree. It's a little bracket uh, that goes onto the frame and then the bumper hooks onto it. Um, I had a flaw over here. Um, I had to re-glue this and glue drip down right there. So I plan to fix that. But you see how this is uh, looking like kind of cricket? Uh, it's because of... Uh, this quarter uh, right here was uh, messed up or directly out the kit. I tried to repair it. Uh, you know, the quarters, they don't come. They, you have to glue them on to the bed. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it came like that. I went looked looked over to make sure I had them both in place, and they're both in place. Even the body line still line up. You know, it's just... It's just sitting crooked, I guess. But when I did the gas cap, silver, sharpened marker, I also did around the uh, wheels with the chrome uh, marker around the wheel wells. Uh, I forgot to paint this, the latch. Uh, the tail lights, they not fit flushed. I'm gonna tell you, I put them on last. Uh, and something else I learned uh, with this kit and the GTO is that 
excuse me, that, excuse me, that uh window, I had to sand it down a whole lot to make it fit. It was way too big. Um, I learned that uh, to uh, um, to all my new subscribers, I haven't been doing this long. I've been doing it maybe about three months, maybe. Uh, but I learned that to test fit every part, you know, when you break down the kit, test fit everything. Because if you don't, and you try to uh, do, uh, you try to uh, make the adjustments uh, after it's been painted and all the other stuff, it just you might you might risk messing up your paint or you know, anything. So I, I'm going to test fit everything first. Before I even paint the car, I'm going to take everything out of the tree, uh, put all the parts together, make sure that everything fits. Um, but that window, it gave me some time. Uh, the trimming around it is silver. Now, it was black. Uh, I had to take that back wall back out uh, to to fix that window because uh, I tried to put the window in last. And the only way I was able to, I had to trim out around the uh the spot where it goes and uh and Anna had to uh and I had to uh shave the window. So anyway, I messed it up and I ain't no going back over with a with the um the silver sharpie. So yeah and I made this truck seventy six, seventy six sharp bed. Okay. The bed red uh, the uh I already talked about those. The inside of the bed I painted a uh, matte black for the bed liner. The interior, uh, I didn't do nothing special. Uh, it's a flat, it's a matte black, uh, and I did the trimming around the steering wheel, and I trimmed the gauges around the gauges too. Um, I did the silver buttons in the seats. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to run this truck in 360 right quick, so y'all hang tight. All right, we're rolling in 360 right now. I think the truck came out pretty good. So, uh, I got a question um, for y'all. I got this kit here. Um, I want to paint this kit white with the gold rallies and the gold trimming. But this kit comes with uh, white rally uh, decals and white uh, uh, body decals uh, for the uh, uh, trimming around the body and the wheels. Um, what is the best way for me to do rallies all across the top of the body and the trimming around here? How do I how do I go about taping this off? And I've never done it before, so I need someone to tell me. Uh, my first thought was to just free-handed and go around with the gold marker and uh, tape off the top, tape off the hood and do my gold paint uh, and, and go from there. So y'all let me know. Uh, like I said, it's my first time trying to do a rally. So, But this is going to be my next uh, project here. So y'all comment, let me know. Thank you, uh, all my new subscribers, thank you for all the comments. I've seen a lot of comments. I I haven't got a chance to reply to them all yet. Uh, just give me some time and I will. Uh, I appreciate everything. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up. Because it's nighttime. It's almost 12 o'clock. I got to get to bed. So y'all have a good night. And that's that. Until next time. See ya.